My name is Martin Gutierrez. I'm the co-chief of the Thoracic Oncology and the director of the Phase One program at Hackensack University Medical Center. I usually treat patients with thoracic malignancies, so lung cancer, mesothelioma, thymic carcinoma, as well as GI malignancies, so esophageal cancer, pancreatic, hepatocellular colon cancer. We used to treat lung cancer only with chemotherapy until the early 2000s. Then target therapy came on board, and then between 2011 and 2015, immunotherapy surfaced into the thoracic oncology and clearly made a major impact, uh, prolonging the survivals to up to three years, median survivals even longer than that. And there is data coming out of survival even up to 15% uh, at four or five years, which we never saw before. Immunotherapy has clearly proved that has an impact in solid tumors in the bus, in the grand majority of them. But nevertheless, we're still not curing 100% of those patients. There is a still in a large gap to improve. And that is what the phase one program offered to the patients. And it's a collaboration between multiple expo- sponsors, pharmaceutical companies, physicians, and clearly the patients who are altruistic and decide to go into these clinical trials. In the phase one program, we have actually a wide variety. We run approximately 40 different clinical trials, focusing in immunotherapy heavily, but also in targeted therapies and in cell technologies today, uh, such as NK cells and CAR T cells. CAR T cell therapy is a new technology. It's an evolving technology. For example, right now, we have a CAR T cells for HER2 positive diseases, so breast cancer, gastric, and the colon cancer patients who have HER2 expressive tumors. What it means is we have a harvest of the, we call a phoresis of their white cells, and they get engineered to recognize the target, in this case HER2. Those cells are given back to the patient with the idea that it will target the specifically the cancer. The idea that we can use an engineer T cells that can recognize the specific targets on those solid tumors and be able to induce a response produce a huge degree of excitement. When patients come to JTCC, they are getting a centralized care, constantly providing new options of care for them in this fight against cancer.